Okay, we're on to the front uh, panel now where we're going to make the zippered pocket. So you'll need your front middle panel, your nine inch zipper, and your pocket lining. So we'll place your zipper over the top with the uh, zipper pull facing towards the right side of the fabric. So we're putting the zipper at the top of the fabric of the um, middle panel. And we're gonna just baste it right on the edge. So I would uh, probably about one eighth from the edge. And you grab your pocket lining. Now, if you've made a few of my other patterns, this pocket tends to turn up in a lot of my patterns because I like the look of it. It's nice and flat, better than the, I like it better than the the um, the boxed hole. Um, I always find they just, they just never turn out real neat for me. So I try and do these whenever I can. Okay, so you grab your pocket lining. I'm using this really cute puppy newspaper fabric. It's got some really cute little stories on it about puppy dogs. Okay, so lay that over the top of the zipper and just open that up again a little bit. I haven't stitched at the end of my zipper, so <laughs> I forgot to. So I've got to be careful I don't take my zipper pull off. Okay, so you've laid that flat to the edge, right sides together. And now you put this one on. At a quarter of an inch I should be able to do it with this foot so this one will be not basting you're actually stitching and back stitching at both ends just make sure that's I think I've cut this pocket lining just a touch bigger in width because I like to do that because just in case it slips over and then I can at least trim it once it's sewn mm -hmm. Just making sure you keep it lined up when you get to your zipper pull. Just move that again out of the way so it doesn't um, move your needle to the side because you'll end up with that wonky stitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the end, back stitch again. You've got your exterior middle panel, your zipper with the um, tab facing towards the right side, and then your pocket lining. Now fold that back the other way so that the wrong sides of the fabric are together. Pull that down, pull your fabric away from the zipper. You could take it over to your ironing board, give it a quick iron if you like to make it even neater. Pull that down, and now we're going to top stitch over the top of that. Just move all my stuff out of the way. Okay, so you're going to be top stitching through the exterior and the pocket lining. So we've got the top stitching done. Then we grab the bottom of the pocket lining and fold it up to line up with the top of the zipper. And we're going to baste across there for now. So with another eighth, eighth of an inch stitch, I would say, for now. 
because you'll be putting the top panel on that one after you do the side panels. Mm -hmm. wants to pull away from the edge. There we go. This bag may have a lot of pieces, but once you start stitching it together, it seems to come together very quickly. And I think you probably would only have to watch this video once and then you'd remember how it goes. See how I've done that little extra there? I'll trim that along with the um, zipper. Okay, so I've trimmed the sides of the pocket and I've stitched along the edges of my zipper so that I don't pull the zipper pull off accidentally. And we're going to put the side panels on now. So the side panels, as you can see, are 11 and 7 8 inch high. So we're going to follow the measurements by the side panels. Now, I think the middle panel may end up hanging over a little bit, depending on the size of your zipper. So if you do a smaller zipper, they may measure. So if you have any left over, I think I've made mine a little bit longer than... I um, should have, I think I went over the 11 and a half and forgot to trim it down. So I do have a little bit extra there, but so if, like I said, if there is any, as you can see, I do have about half an inch. I don't know why I measured that long, but um, once the side panels are sewn together, trim the bottom of that off. And um, I've already added fleece, so but that shouldn't matter too much. It's not a very thick fleece. Okay, so you could probably get away with Instead of 11 and a half for the middle panel, probably 11 and a quarter would probably be perfect instead of 11 and a half, I'd say. I might just change that, so, and make it 11 and a quarter. I'm not sure. No, I might leave it 11 and a half, and then, like I said, you can trim it down. It's only a touch. At least then you know you're not going to be too short also. Some people might um, sew in a little bit more on their zipper, so this allows for that. Okay, so get back to the job at hand. We're going to stitch this side panel to the middle panel and make sure my little puppy dogs are facing the right way. And this will be again with a 3 8 inch seam. to the other side and do the same thing with the other side panel. I might sew it from this side now. You could have basted your pockets down if you want but it doesn't really matter. It's going to get caught in the in this seam allowance and it's going to sit flat anyway so let's make sure I'm lining it all up. You could clip or pin in place, but when I'm at my machine, I don't tend to do it unless it really needs help. So like on a curve, or if it's a zipper, then I use my clips. see outside my window all the kids are arriving for school so you'll probably hear the bell I think they play it with music so we may hear that soon I'm not sure if they do it in the morning might be just at lunchtime they never used to do that when we were young we used to have a bell us kids used to take turns at going out and ringing the bell oh my gosh sounds like in another century well it was wasn't it okay so up to a top stitch now. So you folded both your side panels open and we're going to do a top stitch and make sure you catch that seam behind the side panel. Do the 
another one. Okay, so trim off the, the bottom if you have a little bit of extra like I do. And we'll add the top panel next. So, okay, we're going to put the top panel on now and this will make this into a full panel just like the other one we've just finished for the back. So you grab your top panel, your front top panel. It's a rather large piece. It's about, it's actually works out the same size as the whole bottom piece with the pocket in. So you lay that across the top, sandwich the zipper between them, and clip into place, Moving, move your zipper pull wherever you want to be comfortable because I'm going to be sewing from here. I always put it at the end and then move it when I get down there. Okay, so, so it's with this 3 8 inch seam. As you've noticed, that's the um, no, that is the seam allowance for this whole bag. The only time it changes is when we do a quarter inch on the um, back, the back strap A piece when you're putting them two together. That's a quarter of an inch. Probably should have used my zipper foot there to get a little closer but I can do that again switch over to my zipper foot so I think I will because it wouldn't let me go closer than a quarter of an inch to the top of that zipper which you know so I guess I can, yeah, I can fix that up see if it looks any different yeah I'd say it is because it's taken the as you can see there, it wouldn't go closer. So I'm going to switch over to my zipper foot. And do that again. I probably should, should have used that in the first place. I try to avoid changing feet as often as possible. Anything that slows down my sewing is a little, annoys me. <laughs> I guess like most people. You just want to get the job done. Okay, so now I'll line that back up, make sure it's 3 8 inch, and we'll go again over that stitching and we'll see if there is a difference. Oh, there it definitely is. There's about an eighth of an inch. And then as I got down closer here, yeah. There we go. So you can see that, definitely a big difference. So it is a little closer at the top of the zip than it is on this. So I probably could have gone 3 8 inch on that too if I'd wanted to, to make that a little closer. That allows for that extra half an inch, uh, that extra quarter of an inch on the front middle panel that we trim off. So you go as close as you want because then you know you're going to have that excess on here. But the top one is the 3 8 inch. Then we top, uh, the not top stitch, sorry, the top panel one. So now I'll switch back over because I don't like doing a um, top stitching with my zipper foot. It doesn't seem to stay in place very well. I think the more I film too, I'm noticing the more relaxed I get and I don't mind just <laughs> yeah, making mistakes and I tend to talk a lot to myself sometimes when I'm sewing. So I guess sharing it with you on video, yeah, I've got someone to talk to now. Well, okay, here we go. See, I told you I ramble a little. <laughs> okay, so top stitch across the top panel. Out of the way. Oh, it is a lot closer with the, um, the 3 8 inch. Okay. Okay, 
so that front panel is now done. And see, we've got that front pocket. You could have put your zipper pull whichever way you like, but I like to, when I've got it in front of me, I like to pull it from left to right. So I got that and it's got your pocket big enough to put your phone in.